The first common writing mistake that we're going to talk about is subject verb agreement. So this one is an extremely common mistake. So many people make it all the time. And it's very easy one to miss when you're checking your writing. But first of all, what does it mean? So subject is uh, the person who is doing the action in a sentence. And the verb is the action. So for example, in the sentence, I eat ice cream, the subject is I, and the verb, the action is eat. And the rule is that the subject and the verb have to agree with each other. So for example, uh, tell me if this sentence is correct. What do you think? So the sentence is, I watches the television every day. Correct or incorrect? This one, of course, is incorrect. It should be, I watch the television every day. The problem is that I, the subject, and watches, the verb, they didn't agree with each other. If we say, I watch, they do agree, so it's correct. So let's quickly review the rule. So the rule is, when we have a verb in the third person singular, in the present simple tense, then we have to add an S, an ES, or an IES to the end of that verb. So a very simple example, play. I play, you play, he, she, it, or someone's name, like John, plays, and then all of the rest of them are play with no S. So it's a very easy one to remember, okay? Add the S when it's the third person singular. A couple of other examples then. He reads, she listens, and it hurts. So not every verb is as simple as play. Um, if we have verbs that end in certain letters, like CH, S, SH, and a few other ones, we add ES, all right? So for example, he watches. So it's watch, CH, add ES. And a couple of other examples, we could see he misses, she does, and it buzzes. So all of those we have to add ES. And another rule that we have to remember is when the verb ends in Y, we add IES, okay? For example, try becomes tries, and some other examples, cries, marries, and flies. All of those end in Y, and so we change it to IES when it's in the third person singular. So then I have a question for you. Um, when, in the present simple tense, in the third person singular, do we not add an S? So the answer is when we add modal verbs. Now, you might be thinking, well, what are modal verbs? Modal verbs are the ones like can, should, must, and those other ones there. So for example, uh, we wouldn't say he can plays the violin. We would say he can play the violin. If we didn't have can, it would be he plays, but we add can, or we add should or must or will, and so that S disappears. We don't add the S if we have a modal verb. Now, another rule that we have to remember is if we're talking in the present perfect tense or the present perfect continuous tense, and we're using the third person singular, so uh, he, she, it, or someone's name, we change have into has. So, for example, he has eaten all of his food already, or Sarah has been doing her homework all evening. It's not have, it should be has. And then when we're using the present continuous tense, that's like I am doing, if it's in the third person, we change it to is. So for example, the dog is eating his food at the moment. So let's do a challenge. So I'm going to give you four sentences. You have to tell me, are they correct or not? For example, I eat salad 
every day. Is it correct or is there some kind of problem? Number two, she buys her clothes online. And then the last one is a little bit longer. While Dan often watches television in the evening, he usually have time to play with his son. All right, so take a look at those four. And if you think they're correct, then that's fine. If you think they're incorrect, write the correct version. Have a try now. So let's take a look at those answers. So the first one, I eat salad every day. Of course, that one is wrong. It should be, I eat salad every day. I eat, no S. The next one, she buys her clothes online, is correct. The next one, you has been writing your book for two years, is of course incorrect. It should be, you have, because you is not the third person, so we don't change it. And then the last one is also incorrect. Of course, it should be, he usually has time to play with his son, okay? Because it's he. Now, those longer ones are often a little bit more difficult, and you'll have to go back to kind of check uh, who it is you're talking about and check if those two connect. Do they agree with each other, the subject and the verb? Okay, so it's a very simple problem, but many people make this mistake. I really want you to focus when you're writing on agreeing your subject and your verb. When you've finished writing, make sure you check it again. All right, see you in the next video.